Listen to Google Play Newsstand in action here. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Michael Babcock uh, coming to you guys live from my kitchen table. Hey, maybe that's what I should start using for my tagline. Hey, I wanted to let you guys listen to Google Play Newsstand in action on my Galaxy Nexus still cracked in the bottom right hand corner of the device. Device. So, I've went ahead and slowed down. The, this is the same one that was used in my, my other video uh, the, showing the Google text-to-speech upgrade. But I'm going to go ahead and press the... Oh, here, let's set this right here. I'm going to go ahead and press the... That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now I want to go to... Looking for... Google Play Newsstand. So let's tap on that. Read now. So after you uh, launch the Google Play Newsstand application, you are presented on a screen where you have to, this is when it upgrades from Google Play Magazines to Google Play Newsstand, you have to select a Got It button because it tells you that it replaced the magazines and the Google Currents application, which is incorrect because I still have a Google Currents application. So it needs to take that away. But then you're brought on to the Read Now screen. Now let me show you this. Um, I'm going to scroll my finger down on the left of the screen. Hold Jordan on. Beckstead. Hello, Michael. I noticed. Too far up. Port stop. Hmm. That's what I was reading an article. Read now. Port stop. Navigate up. Okay, so. You, the navigate up button is important if you want to get back to the home screen. Now I'm going to scroll my finger down the left corner, left side of the screen from the navigate up button. Navigate up. Port stop. Government fees. And then that's from the Daily Beast two hours ago. The Daily Beast two hours ago. Now I'm going to keep going down. Benjamin Preston, Jaguar introduces F-type coupe with a laser show. Tap to select the New York Times. And that's from the New York Times. Now my display only shows me two articles. What I found to go very fast is let's go back up to the top. At the top you have navigate up, search, and more options. But take a look at this. We're back on the court stops government fees. Now I'm going to flick to the right, and you'll see how, how smooth this is. The Daily Beast 2 up. Nuclear power. Benjamin Preston. Jaguar introduces F-type coupe with a laser show. The New York Times. Okay, that's the last one that was on the screen, but now. Automobile. Navigate up. Bizarre art projecting cat. Bizarre art projecting cat. I wonder. I'm going to put my... So, we have Bizarre Art Projecting bizarre Cats. Now, I'm going to scroll my finger down. That's from Trendhunter.com. Now, go down. Dana Tanamaki of Tanamaki Studio. Apartment Therapy Design Evening. Now, if I flick to the right... Dana Tanamaki. Apartment Therapy. Yesterday. Now, if you flick to the right, and then you scroll your finger down a little bit more... Now, I'm going to show you a couple of things real quick. As you can see, you can easily scroll through the articles. Let's open this. This one. Now, right now, if I flick, it doesn't do anything, but it's loading an article. Now it says navigate up, so let's flick to the right. So as you can see, you can actually listen to the article, and then when you're done, I find it to be faster, to, faster. And as you can see, I'm flicking through the article. Inaccessible images. But that's because they didn't label them. And then there's a link that will obviously open your mo your default browser. So now what I do is I do a gesture down into the right or down into the left at a right angle to go back to read now. Read now. Now two things I want to show you. Hold on. Let me make sure we're still recording. Yep. Okay. So now we're on the read now screen. Let's go over here to the more options, more options button. Showing four items. Then we're going to go down to settings. We have refresh. refresh. On device only. 
on device only, settings, settings help. help. Let's go to settings. settings. And really the only option in here is the important Google option. Google account, Michael, article text size, normal. You can, you, well there's two options. You can change the article text size so if you need to make it bigger to read it. But scrolling down the screen. Show notifications, notify when a new magazine issue is available, checkbox, check. So that's obviously what you want to do is you want to notify when a new magazine is available. By default, for some reason, that is unavailable. I guess it's to, to keep the notifications uh, uh, down from this app. All right, so I did my back gesture, which was a straight line down and a 90-degree angle to the left. Now I'm going to show you one other thing. You're presented on the Read Now screen, but if you go up here to the top left corner, you're going to see a Navigate Up, navigate up button. Let's Navigate Up. And now I'm going to run my finger down the screen. Remember when I ran my finger down the screen on that Read Now screen, I always saw where article titles and then where they came from and how long ago it was. But now see what we have. Navigate up. Read Now. There's a Read Now button. Yep. My News. My News. My Magazines. My Magazines. Bookmarks. Bookmarks. Explore. Explore. And that's it. So now if you go into like Explore, for example. Jordan Beckstead. Hello. Featured. Featured. Crafts and hobbies. Food and drink. Home and garden. Let's go to food, food and drink. drink. Entertainment. Food and drink. Entertainment. Food and drink. Food and drink. Me cooking light. December 1st, 2013. Let's do cooking light. Play store. And it opens a play store where you can go subscribe to this magazine. Cooking light. Looks like. Yeah, you can buy it. I'm not going to buy one, but I'd like to know you guys' thoughts on uh, if you if you are subscribed to any magazines, how this works with uh, magazine subscriptions. So I'm going to go ahead and hit home, and that is a brief demonstration of the Google Play Newsstand application. My quick thoughts are: number one, they need to a replace the Google Currents application with it by default. They did replace the Google Magazines application, but that's that's about it. And then B, they need to also, uh, at least on my device, I have a news and weather application, and that seems a little redundant now that I got Google Play News or Google Play News thing. Give us your thoughts at EmpoweringTheBlind.com. Again, this is Michael Babcock, and if you want to learn how to make money from home like I do, check out MyOwnPay.com.